My name is Abraham Sandwich, and today we're jumping into my 1 HP build. Now, you might be asking yourself, what's a 1 HP build? Well, you see, I was playing around with this thing called Cyber Engine Tweaks, and I found I could adjust my health total. I could not only make my health pool bigger, but I could also make it smaller. And I found out that I could put it down to 1 HP, which meant if I took any damage, I died immediately. And of course, my dumb brain thought, what if I could beat the game like this? So I did. I made a video where I beat the game with this character with one HP. Because I had to encounter situations differently and kind of made a jack of all trades. I am thoroughly surprised by it and actually really like it. Trying to survive with one HP, you need not only a lot of stealth, but I also wanted to make sure that I could deal a lot of damage really fast in case there was somebody with a lot of health, like Adam Smasher at the end of the game. That was torture. If you want to see me suffer for a half hour, you can go check out the video. I'll have it in the description below. But let's get into this. Let's start with the attributes. One thing that makes this build unique out of any of the other ones I've done before is that there isn't a single attribute tree that has been finished off or at a max level 20. So I'll go over the numbers real quick. Body is at 12, reflexes is at 18, technical ability 18, cool is 12, and intelligence is 11. This took me way longer than you'd think to dial these in exactly the way I wanted. So let's start off with the key perks. Now with body, I only put two perks in and if you've seen my previous videos, you know exactly which ones these are. It is multitasker and divided attention to be able to reload while jumping, sprinting, vaulting, everything. Being able to reload in those instances is just too helpful when you're running away, especially with this build, because you're just running away all the time, it feels like. Now, because my perks are well distributed across everything in the reflexes tree, I only focused handguns. And because I only got it up to 18, I'm only missing out on one perk. This makes it really easy to pick off dudes from a distance and keep myself safe. Next, in technical ability, just like I always do, I wanted to be able to craft everything and for cheaper and the chance to craft it for free. While also I did want the 10% more damage because I do have a crafted iconic item. Under the engineering tab, I ended up going into tech weapons because if I'm in a sticky situation, I wanna be able to hide behind walls and shoot through them to kill everyone in the room. So investing into these perks saved my life, I can tell you that. Next under cool, I only focused the ninjutsu tree and only grabbed the ones that helped with damage and movement speed. I did play around with knives and stuff, but they just really weren't doing the damage I needed. I might respec, pull those points out, put them in something more useful. So why this one only hit level 12 is because one, I wanted the ghost perk, which is a level 12 requirement. And other than that, everything else here involves poison and melee damage and really doesn't matter for this build because I'm mostly sticking to guns and sticking behind cover. So everything here allows me to increase crit chance, increase headshot damage, 15% more damage against human enemies. So with only 12, I'm able to get all the perks that I want to just increase damage. And lastly, in intelligence, I did breach protocol. I wanted mass vulnerability, which decreases enemies' resistances, making them a lot weaker. Now with quick hacking, after reading through all the perks, when it comes to dealing the most amount of damage as fast as possible, there was only one perk I'm missing out on, which is critical error at a level 16 requirement. Whereas at a level 11, 11, I get access to subliminal message, which increases damage by 100% to unaware targets, which is a massive jump when you're sneaking around. One big positive to this is if I were to spend the time and the money to respec, I could go pull all the points out of handguns and put it into like assault if I wanted to do assault rifles for a while, or I could pull it all out and put it into blades. Mind you, because I am sticking true to what this build is, I only have one HP, so blades would be just the absolute stupidest choice in the world. But let's say you wanted to take this build and remove the one HP limiter that I have on it, and you wanted to put armor on it and have that survivability, this would be a true jack of all trades. You could pull the points out, put it into a nylon do a bunch of shotgun damage. The only damage perk you're missing out on is Speed Demon. Even under Street Brawler, you're really only missing Frenzy. Some of the other ones are just kind of nice to have. So no matter what type of gun you want to use, what playstyle you want to use, you're dealing enough damage to kill anybody just by being able to respec the points out of handguns into any other weapon type. Now let's dive into the weapons. In the video, I actually was using the exact same loadout that my gunslinger would. 
But after I got it to level 50 and was playing around with it, I ended up switching out the Widowmaker for the Comrade's Hammer. This gun has a really interesting special ability where you can not only shoot through walls because it's a tech gun, but when it hits someone, it causes an explosion. You can see, even though I only fired one shot, it took out all three because of the explosive round in this gun. So I can not only shoot through walls and keep my distance, but clear multiple enemies at once. It's really helpful. Next, which is kind of a staple for me, is any variation of the Overture Revolver at a Legendary tier. There is three iconic versions of this gun. I haven't been able to catch one yet in this build because they're locked behind big long missions and so I just haven't done it yet. There's a vendor who sells legendary variations so I just went and purchased one from him. Went and got a chemical damage one because why the heck not. This gun to me is just classic stay hidden pop headshots from a distance and it does on average for me around 30,000 damage when I'm hidden. And lastly one of my all time favorites the pistol Lizzie because it is the best oh crap weapon. It is easily one of the highest DPS guns in the game with 1100 damage and a 20% burn chance. And when people light on fire, they freak out and they don't shoot at you anymore. So this gun to me was a absolute must for this build. Now let's dive into cyberware. Now this is kind of a weird category for this build because 95% of cyberware in this game is designed to help you survive this game. So a lot of it gives you health on kills, on charged attacks, on melee swings, on whatever, which doesn't matter for this build because it's one HP. So we'll start in the top left. Because I do have intelligence, I was able to take advantage of these two pieces here, but they're not the max tier because obviously I'm only at a level 11 in the attribute, but the 12 crit damage and the 4% crit chance is helpful. I also got the extra RAM unit because why not? I went for the Kuroshi Optics Mark III and I went for trajectory analysis. I wanted threat detector so I could shoot dudes through walls who detected me and then more crit chance basically. In the circulatory system, I just wanted the breach protocol time to be reduced. I, you don't need this. Finally, under nervous system, I did the slow time Karenzi. Kov? Karenzikov? It basically slows time when you are dodging or sliding and then you scope in. One really cool interesting thing to show off here that you can combine with this is the maneuvering system. This allows you to perform dodges in midair. This is one of those pieces that took me forever to find because it's rare so you kind of gloss over it. But it's the only one in existence and it can only be found at this ripper dock in Arroyo. So just like it says, you're able to jump up in the air and dodge. The cool thing about it is with the Kresnikov thing, you can slow time in midair. This is definitely one of those utility ones that's just fun to goof around with, slowing time as you're dodging in the middle of the air. Uh, so definitely try it out, have some fun with it. Next I went for optical camo. I probably could go for legendary tier, but I just, I don't know. I'm getting tired and tired of using optical camo because it kind of breaks the game. Although it did feel like it didn't work as well in my playthrough, which was kind of interesting. For legs, I just want to double jump because it's phenomenal. For my hands, I wanted to goof around with the ballistic coprocessor, which adds the 50% bonus ricochet damage, but I ended up never actually using it. So I just have it now. Now under arms where you can get like the gorilla arms and mantis blades and stuff, I sometimes get tired of cycling through like five different weapons. So I just decided I didn't want anything here. If I were to put something, I'd probably do like the tranquilizer dart um, just to knock dudes out or something from a distance. Under skeleton, I went with bionic joints to reduce recoil and I went with bionic lungs because just a little more stamina is kind of handy. And lastly, under my operating system, I got the same one that I use for my net runner build. This just allows me to take out dudes very quickly and it increases damage by 30%. It spreads to up to three people in a six meter radius so it's really handy for taking out a lot of dudes really quickly i still get close to 10,000 damage with short circuit with this combo it is very good now let's talk about the armor and the mods i have attached to them so because it doesn't matter what amount of damage i take i just die i I didn't know what to put on anything. So the only things that to me really mattered was on my headwear, I ended up putting the Showtime mod. I couldn't find a legendary variation, but still 17.5 additional damage to high threat and medium threat enemies is a good chunk of damage boost. And on my eyewear, I went for the dead eye modifier, which increases crit damage and headshot damage multiplier because I am doing a lot of sneaking and a lot of headshots with this revolver. Now, normally on everything else, I would probably just put an armadillo mod. And if you were actually building this and not trying to do one HP, I would recommend just put armadillo on everything because it will give you the best chance of survival. 
because the survivability of an armadillo mod is actually kind of insane, as proven by this footage of my gunslinger build standing in the middle of combat. And of course, as I'm recording this video, I find an armadillo just sitting in a box next to a car I'm about to steal. Now for the clothing choices, I ended up actually just grabbing these all out of the open world. And if you want to find these locations, I will provide a link to a website that has all the locations of all the legendary pieces of armor you can find. But I will quickly hover over these so you can see the names of each of these if you want to pause it. And just so you know what these are if you want to use any of them in your build. Uh, they're fairly easy to find, they're just in the open world. Again, this build was designed to survive with one HP, so it's a little bit of a weird one, but if you were to take the elements of this, like the attribute points, but instead maybe actually do armadillo mods and the subdermal armor and all that stuff and make your character actually survivable, this build could actually be a really cool jack of all trades, get everything done, use any weapon kind of build. Let me know what you guys think of this thing. Do you think it's interesting? Do you think you'd try it? Or do you think, eh, that's pointless. I would never do that. Or are you thinking about trying out one HP? It's really dumb, but uh, if you wanna see my suffering, again, I'll put the video in the description. Just like always, I'll be in the comments responding to any of your guys' questions down below. Uh, and honestly, if you enjoyed this video, I would really appreciate if you hit that subscribe and the like. It really does a lot towards helping me get to my goal of doing this full time. It would be a dream of mine that I've had for years now, and it finally feels like it might be something. So it's kind of cool. Uh, I really appreciate the support and the love and the help that all of you guys have been giving me. So. Uh, again, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. If you do try and do the one HP build, my biggest recommendation is don't get run over by your own car.